Welcome back to the lecture series of power electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss the operation of step down chopper, then the relation between input and output voltage of step down chopper. Also, I will be discussing the RMS output voltage of step down chopper and a few applications. Let us get started with the DC DC uh, step down chopper, or generally we call it as bug converter. So, first, I will be discussing about what do you mean by a bug converter? Okay, what is a bug converter? So please make a note of this parallelly. Uh, what is what is a step down chopper? Step down chopper. It is also known as bug converter. Bug converter. Okay, very simple. So the first point is it reduces. Okay. Uh, it reduces the input DC voltage, the input DC voltage to a specified to a specified DC output voltage, DC output voltage. Here, in, in the case of step down chopper, the average output voltage. is less than input voltage. So average output voltage we call it as V0, then the input voltage we call it as Vs. In this case, we can say like, so V0 is less than Vs. If I talk about the current, what about the current? If I talk about the current, we can say like, Output current, output current greater than input current. That is a speciality. Okay, remember this formula. However, the input power, we can say like input power, input power equal to output power. Power remains same. We call it like input power is Ps, the output power is P0. Power remains same. Okay, power remains same, but the voltage and current at the input and output side that is getting deferred. That is all about step down chopper. It is mainly applicable in the case of like a speed control of motor. You can use the step down chopper and also you can use the battery charge controller. Charge controller uh, inside the like a battery charge controller we can use. These are the major application. Now let's get started the basic operation. The basic operation of uh, the DC DC uh, chopper buck converter. So we we'll, let me write step down chopper. Step down chopper operation. Operation or you can write this working. Step down chopper operation. Let, let me write the working. So, first of all, we have to draw the circuit diagram of uh, step down chopper. Very simple. First of all, you have to you require one power electronic switch. Okay, this is a that is uh, typically we can write like a power electronic switch. We call it as uh, power power switch. Power switch. Correct. Next, we need a freewheeling diode. Okay, we will be writing like in this fashion a freewheeling diode. We can write FD, freewheeling diode. Okay, draw neatly. So we have input voltage. We usually represent Vs. Correct. Make a note of this. Fine. Next, we have one inductor, one of the energy storage element. We have inductor. Right. Next we'll be using the output voltage across the load. We'll be connecting load. It can be like a RL load or R load. If it is a motor, then we write this RL load. Generally, we mention like a load. So voltage across the load is V0. Okay, voltage across the load is V0. Right. This is a circuit diagram of a step down chopper. Okay. The current which is passing to the load is we call it as I0. Right. Okay, so we can mention the polarity, positive, negative. First of all, the switch is on. Switch on. Two conditions are there. How does it work? So, very simple. First case, we need to explain whenever the switch is on. During the on condition, what is going to happen? Okay, yeah. So, during on condition, so what will happen is, uh, the like conduction will be taken by C. Let me write like this. It is closed, right? It is closed. 
So current started flowing. Let me draw the direction of current. Current start flowing. See, like this current start flowing through the inductor. So this is positive and negative. Okay. Inductor uh, getting charged. Okay. Inductor getting charged. So like this, you can mark the direction of current flow. This is ha actually happening uh, whenever switch is on. So during whenever switch is on, uh, like the diode is getting reverse biased. Prevailing diode, it is reverse biased. Here, like uh, what will happen is it will get reverse biased. Okay. Here we can mark like uh, open switch. See, it will be like uh, reverse biased. Because it is not conducting, right? Yeah. Similarly, the peculiarity is uh, current through the inductor is getting increased. Current through current through inductor in increases. You can just like it increases. Okay. So inductor gets charged. You can write like it. inductor inductor gets charged. Right. Okay. This is a speciality uh, during the turn on when the switch is on. Okay. So I think it's clear. You can make a note of this during the first condition. Switch is on. So hope you can make a note of this. Now, uh, during the condition, whenever the switch is off, the second condition is whenever switch is off. Let me explain whenever switch is, what, what will happen when the switch is off. The turn on and turn off the switch will be taken place fraction of seconds. Okay, in, the, in, the, in terms of like a milliseconds. So I would like to explain what will happen whenever the switch is or like a, uh, off. Okay, which is off. What is going to happen? You can mark appropriately. Okay. Yes. Okay, parallel you can note down, so it will be very much convenient. Okay. Yeah, whenever switch is like, uh, let me use change the ink color. So I'll change the color. Yeah. Whenever switch is off, like this, it will be like a open. Switch is off. Switch is off, off condition. Okay, so what will happen? The energy is already stored during the on, uh, whenever switch is on, the energy is already stored inside the inductor, right? The immediately, the effect is the polarity of inductor gets reversed. Switch, switch off. Second condition, whenever switch is off, the inductor polarity, inductor polarity, reversed. Inductor polarity gets reversed. Earlier uh, it was like a uh, po uh, like positive negative. Now, first of all, inductor polarity gets reversed. Right. So, whenever inductor polarity gets reversed, what will happen? The discharging action will be taken place. So, we can mark like a current flow will be in this fashion. See? Discharging action will be taken place in this fashion. See, like this. The discharging action will be taken place. So, inductor discharge, discharge, okay. Inductor discharge. Similarly, FD. FD become forward biased. Forward biased. FD become forward biased. This is a prevailing diode. Also, uh, like uh, instead of passing entire current through the switch, like uh, the diode get bypassed. Okay, the it, it passed the some amount of current pass through the diode so that the entire it will protect the switch. It will protect the switch. Otherwise, what will happen if prevailing diode is not there? If the prevailing diode is not there, the entire current flows through the switch and the switch is getting uh, spoiled. So to overcome that, we'll be using prevailing diode. That is a speciality of prevailing diode. So we'll write like a, a prevailing diode protect protects the power switch. Power switch against reverse current. Okay, that speciality you can note down. Okay, this is what exactly happening during like a discharging. Like a charge, whenever switch is on, inductor gets charged. 
okay inductor gets charged completely whenever switch is off the whatever the energy stored inside the inductor that is getting like discharged that will be, that will be happening in case of uh, like a step down socket now let us discuss uh, how like a voltage is getting reduced how the voltage is getting reduced now for that purpose i, I wanted to draw the block, one uh, uh, diagram diagram let me draw the diagram okay so that you will understand the concept very clearly so please draw the waveform first with the help of waveforms, I can explain very clearly. Please make a note of this during the on time. Uh, what is going to happen during the off period? What will happen for the buck converter or step down chopper? It's pretty interesting. So if you understand the basics of the the inductor, how the inductor operates, okay, uh, it will be pretty easy. Only basics you should know. Here one more question will will ask you like what is the importance of prevailing diode that I just explained for you everybody yeah so now we'll uh, like with the help of waveforms i can uh, easily convince you like how the average output voltage is getting reduced okay so let me draw the graph fine first of all what you what you are supposed to do is uh, you need to uh, mark the output voltage you need to draw the output voltage with respect to time only yes this is your output voltage so here when the switch is on what will happen the entire supply voltage that will come across uh, the load, entire supply voltage, that is Vs. The Vs will come across the load. It is applicable till the switch is on, correct? Because the switch will be having two conditions, one is on state, other one is off state. Whenever switch is off, what will happen? The output voltage, see, the output voltage will be zero. The output voltage will be zero. Then whenever switch is on, again, the process will be repeated. Uh, the Whatever the like uh, input voltage that will come across the output. So this is regarding the voltage. Now, let us talk about the current. Okay, let us talk about the current. So remember that your uh, buck converter, your step down chopper will be operating in the continuous conduction mode. Continuous conduction mode. Make a note of this. This is called as CCM, continuous conduction mode. Okay. Uh, so what is continuous conduction mode here the inductor current never reaches to zero never never reaches to zero this mode is known as ccm mode remember that for most of the cases 90 percentage of the condition uh, the uh, the converter will operate in the continuous conduction uh, in this regard what will happen is so you can extrapolate the graph this dot you can mark so that uh, drawing will be pretty easier oh, yeah here, uh, initially, what will happen? There will be always a current, I1. Okay. So, inductor current, like a start increasing. Okay. It will increase up to I2. Right. I2. I1 to I2. Whenever switch is off, what will happen? The discharging action will be taken place. So, current falls from I2 to I1. Uh, whenever the switch is again on, what is going to happen? The current again started increasing. It uh, Basically, it follows energy con loss of energy conservation. Right. So, we need to compute the average current, average inductor current. We need to co co compute. All right. Yeah. Now we can uh, justify how the average output voltage is getting reduced. Now I am going to derive an expression for average output voltage. Make a note of that. This is most important for your uh, theory examination. Okay. So let me point out the average output voltage. See. Derive, derive average output voltage. Of a step down chopper. Step down chopper. This waveform is necessary. Very, very important. Uh, I have seen uh, most of the university exam. This question has repeated for most of the university exam. Correct. Yeah. So we'll write like a V average. So V naught. Average output voltage is nothing but Vs into Vs into. This is turn on, right? And this is your uh, turn off. Correct. T off where we generally we call it as total time period, sum of turn on and uh, turn off period, off period and on period. So we'll write like this, v, uh, T on, on period, because we'll be considering only output is high uh, whenever switch is on. So on period divided by total time period. Okay, T on plus T on. So uh, we know that, we know that uh, T on plus, T of is nothing but total time period. 
then please substitute in the above equation uh, Vs into uh, T on divided by total time. Also, we know that uh, in, we might have studied T on divided by total time is nothing but D. That is nothing but duty cycle, duty cycle or uh, duty ratio, duty cycle or duty ratio of the switch. So we'll write like V naught is equal to uh, Vs into instead of T on by T, I'll be putting D. So or therefore we'll write like V naught divided by Vs is equal to D. This is a simple formula which. Uh, showcase the relation between output and input voltage of a buck converter V0 by Vs is equal to D, where D is known as duty cycle or duty ratio. Uh, duty cycle or we call it as duty, duty ratio. It is expressed in terms of percentage. The meaning of duty cycle is how long the switch, the power electronic switch is on. That is actually depicting by the duty cycle. So V0 by Vs is nothing but duty cycle or duty ratio. So this is regarding the relation between input voltage and output voltage of a step down chopper or a uh, buck converter. Now I would like to derive one more expression, derive an expression for uh, the RMS output voltage of buck converter. So we need to derive the expression for RMS output voltage that also can be asked in the examination. Even in the gate examination, I have seen few more questions related to RMS output voltage of a uh, like a buck converter, okay, for uh, the step down chopper. So let me change the uh, so derive derive RMS. RMS means root mean square value. RMS uh, output voltage of a uh, step down chopper. Step down chopper. With respect to the waveforms, let us write. Okay, I would like to write. Uh, the V naught, V naught RMS, V like V naught RMS equal to formula, general formula I can write, the square root, right, square root, the total time period, 1 by T, uh, integral 0 to T on, we will be considering only the whenever the output is high, here, till here, okay, T on, uh, the RMS means like a Vs square into or dt, correct, so by simplifying, uh, it will be like a Vs can be taken outside, right, so square root of Vs square is nothing but Vs into, so T on I'll be like, a, if I put like a limit upper and lower limit, it will be like a T on minus, uh, T on my, uh, like a T on minus 0 divided by uh, T, right? Generally we write, uh, generally we can write T on upon T by simplification. So we already know that T on by T is nothing but duty ratio or duty cycle. So we'll, we can write like a square root of D, square root of T. Therefore, uh, V naught RMS, V naught RMS is nothing but Vs into square root of T. This is most important equation which you can expect in the gate level examination, okay, or university examination you can expect. So this is a derivation for uh, the RMS output voltage of step down chopper. So I request you to parallel you can note though. If you require the notes, I can share with you. I have already type, prepared the type of the notes for the buck converter. So various application you can use like a speed control of motor speed control of DC motor, DC shun motor. Similarly, battery charger, battery charger, it can be used in the solar street light, solar street light. So many applications are there, okay, uh, electrolysis, these are the various applications which you can uh, make use of uh, step down chopper for uh, the various practical application. Uh, in this session, I discussed about what is the meaning of step down chopper, uh, how does step, step down chopper operate, operate, what is the circuit diagram, and uh, explain with the help of, I explain, I could explain the necessary waveforms. Uh, thereafter, I could derive the relation between output voltage and input voltage of step down chopper. Thereafter, I derived the expression for RMS output voltage of step down chopper. In the coming session, I am going to discuss a numerical example that will be solved manually as well as uh, MATLAB. So let me know if you have any queries, you can directly uh, discuss uh, through comment box. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. I wish you all the very best for your competitive examination and university examination. Thank you.